This is Chris Whitman here, and I'm going to give you a short tutorial today on how to hide a purchased app so that it will not appear in the purchase history on a student's iPad. This is very useful if maybe the wrong app was purchased or maybe an app just isn't appropriate for students. Uh, this is a great way to hide that app so it will not appear in their purchase history on their iPad. So to do this, we're going to need to sign into iTunes on a computer. You could do this on a Mac or a PC. I'm going to do this on a Mac, so the instructions will be uh, slightly different. So go ahead and start up iTunes. Once you've started iTunes, click on Store and click on Sign In. And here we're going to sign in with the Apple ID associated with the purchase we want to hide. So again, that will be the Apple ID that was used to make that purchase that we don't want to see anymore. We're going to sign in using that Apple ID. Once you've signed in, you're going to want to go to the iTunes Store, and in the newest version of iTunes, you can get to it through this link in the upper right-hand corner. Once you're in the iTunes Store, we specifically want to go to the App Store, so we're going to click on App Store up at the top. And once we're in the App Store itself, on the right-hand side, down towards the bottom, uh, we're going to see a link that says Purchased. So I'll hover over that for a minute because it's very small. And once you're there, click on Purchased. This is going to take us to our purchase history of all the apps associated with that Apple ID. To hide an app, simply hover over it and an X will appear. Go ahead and click on the X and that will hide the app. Uh, it might come up with a dialog box asking you if you're sure. And again, go ahead and click on Hide uh, to get that going. So I'm going to hide a couple more apps just for demonstration. So once you've hidden the app, you're probably going to have to sign out of the Apple ID on the iPad and sign back in. Also, if the app was already installed on the iPad, you'll have to manually remove it as well. So keep those two things in mind. Uh, once you've done this, this might just be the, the first step. You'll still have to go, again, remove that, Apple, um, that app and delete the account on the iPad and then re-add it by simply signing out and signing back in in the system settings. So once you've done all that, you should have the app gone. If you want to unhide the app, again, show the app maybe you decided you did need it after all. Uh, that's a little bit different link. To do that, we're going to click on Store, and we're going to click on View Account. So again, that's Store, View Account. You might have to sign in again, so go ahead and do that. And once you're signed in, uh, and you've hidden apps, you'll have this link pop up which says Hidden Purchases, Unhide Any Hidden or Redownloadable Purchases. And next to it, you'll see a link called Manage. So go ahead and click on that. And again, you might have to click through up at the top on the Apps link and you'll, then you'll see Unhide. And you can go ahead and click on Unhide and that will put those apps back in the download history and in the account. It might take you to the app description, so you have to be a little careful when you're clicking on the app to get it to go. And they all should be unhidden now. And again, you might have to sign back in, sign in one more time on the iPad uh, for that to properly sync up. So thanks a lot, hopefully that was helpful.